it's not what you know that hurts. It's what you know that ain't so. Let's listen to a Milton Friedman a moment ago. And he was speaking about the government, the way that uh, we, uh, many Americans, many citizens, many good hearted citizens are good hearted and gullible citizens. That's, those are my words right there gullible and kind hearted. Um, believe that. Uh, the government is doing what is best with uh, Social Security and it, how it's trying to creep in with, um, with uh, medical insurance, medical coverage. And uh, Milton Friedman's spoken a lot, a lot about capitalism and socialism. And uh, with those words that he said, it makes me think of. Uh, what should I make this here? Of uh, how those words apply to a lot of stuff that I've learned. Um, or learn the wrong way. You know, when I was younger, I thought, oh, you know, med school, that would sound cool when I was a kid. Everyone says that I'm gonna become a doctor and a lawyer, and uh, you know, why, why not me? And eventually, when I learned just the fucking the year before, uh, high school as a, as a month away from graduation learned about the SAT so ACT score the SAT score um, um, getting accepted to a Pac-10 school what is a Pac-10 school what the fuck is it again I forgot is that the top 10 smartest or infamous schools And uh, then heading to medical school, but not only that, uh, you know, in between those lines, what's how much student housing, how much is uh, student books, food, and um, studying and absorbing the energy and retaining that energy, the education. So if I would have learned just a bit sooner, you tell a fucking killer fucking um, uh, SAT score and um, it's called the uh, the essay that you write to the universities. Maybe I would have said, you know what? Maybe me working at Taco Bell and still doing calculus or stopping at. Um, Algebra 2 and we're going to part time and uh, worked on uh, developing some more um, muscle gains maybe that would have been a more effective um, uh, life choice at the time And uh, I talk a lot of shit on this channel because, um, in case you're here for um, for drawing to become an artiste, I think it applies to any field, any profession, any craft. Realize that you're not the only motherfucker um, 
in the field or about to get into the field, there's millions of people. Millions. And uh, you're competing against them. You may not be aware of their YouTube channel. You may not be aware of their existence or their work. But they're there. And... Uh, And, and if I was to tell you, yeah, you know what, just draw, take it easy, chill out. Uh, just sketch uh, 20 minutes a day. You'll be all right. Don't, don't worry. Everything, all the other time, just, all for the rest of the time, just smoke weed, fuck bitches, and just burn your fucking money. Whatever, man. It's just chill out. Don't stress out. Because I'm pretty sure there's someone out there that draws way more than me. Bigger network, um, more dedicated, more stubborn than me. And it's possible that I could cross paths with them. We'll be trying to get uh, a client, or some clients, or a gallery, or a deal. And it's going to be up to me, well, up to my work, uh, doing everything that I could have done to uh, get the deal and not the other person. And it's not what you know that hurts, it's what you know that ain't so. And I think of the times that I could have, the other times that I dodged bullets, that I could have um, had personal relationships turn into fucking hell instead of just a tragedy. But uh, bracing myself for impact, for a, um, a hard time, or uh, letting it go, or having rules, it. Um, minimized help to minimize uh, collateral damage blowback But thinking that uh, genuine relationships, for thinking that certain relationships were based off of, off of genuine characters, both me and the other person, eventually leading to um, separate forks in the road of life. Maybe a headache, maybe a lesson, maybe heartache. I think it's important to be aware of these things because, you know, there's some people that do not uh, come back from this. Some people that uh, should have mental breakdowns and do not recover. Well, we should, what I should call this gin and juice. Maybe gin and juice. And I probably could have um, remained a sucker with uh, keeping certain relationships if I would have thought these are the only people that I can be close to. These are my only friends. These are my only supposed 
family, my only supposed, um, I better be nicer than, um, there's not that many, um, more people out there I could trust, and, and, and those are lies, those are, um, the amazing people that I've met, because, Because I chose to uh, travel, expand my perspective on life, uh, do my own thing. Okay, those are things that uh, I believe it's, it's pretty much uh, worthless to, somewhat worthless. But not as valuable to share that story with you because you haven't experienced that, uh, that moment with me. To calculate the times where you've been disappointed and betrayed and meeting just just strong people that uh, say hey all right man you'll be all right let's go for it um, you got a home here let's uh, work together let's make this happen let me help you out. Those um, oh, and those were some uh, some amazing times, and I think that. Again, that, that those that remembering those should this be all the way over here? That um, remembering things like that will um, be a great reminder to sit the fuck down and create another video, more drawings. Because if I could do that much with my old stuff, what can I do with newer? advanced, more detailed, higher quality stuff. And what I've been taught is, you know, you're only normal if you get a job five days a week, day shift or night shift. It's going to give you a 401k, medical insurance, uh, dental insurance, paid uh, vacation. When you do that, you have become regular. You have become normal. And no, 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 no. no. As a kid, I've, um, you know, I've always had wonder. And I would think at times, man, why is this adult so angry, so bitter? It's like, I know if I was an adult, um, I would just go buy some ice cream and pizza and be happy. You know, go to work and watch some television, watch some cartoons, I'll be good. Why is this person so, uh, so mean? And, uh, and, and something like that, and thoughts like that, questions like that, Um, what, what is chicken nuggets be like that? Um, trying to make this look like, still look like a stack of nuggets here. But, um, Because we we all have bad days, but some people are just wonder like, hey, wait, wait, what's what's going on? What's the problem here? You know, it's you know if if you um offered to um if you invited me over for dinner because of the steak that you're proud of, um, 
if you're passing on the recipe of uh, spaghetti bolognese, uh, spaghetti meatballs, um, some Italian dish, some dish. Everyone says it's the best. Or everyone has told you it's the best. And you were to ask me, hey, what's what you think of it, man? It's the bomb, isn't it? And it was, and if it were dry, um, cold, frozen in the middle, um, the vegetables were not peeled right, cut right. Um, I'll, I'll share my insight, and if that offends you, I think, uh, I think that uh, it shouldn't. And that shouldn't endanger a, a relationship when uh, someone tells you the truth, because the truth is, um, it's like gravity. It's there.